and welcome back to my YouTube channel, It's Dawn Here. So, I'm with you today because I thought we'd do a little review on these pencils that I picked up from Nouveau. Um, so, what I thought I would do, I've got a couple of different types of paper. So, I've got a mixed media paper here, um, which is perfect for pencils because it has a, like, a really good tooth on it. Um, and when working with coloured pencils, you want it so that um, you've got a tooth on your paper. Um, what that means is basically that you can build up your layers um, of like the pencils to get that really nice blend. So it is a good idea to, yeah, have that. Um, it all depends, I suppose, on what you're doing. If you're just doing like a light um, one, then it doesn't really matter. But if you are planning on blending and you are planning on um, layering your pencils, then definitely find something that's got a lovely tooth on and by tooth what I mean is that the, the paper has a texture on it um, so it's not completely smooth so for alcohol ink pens you want a really smooth paper um, whereas for pencils you want like a rough paper so I'm not sure if that is going to pick up but it's got like a tooth in it so it's got texture to the actual paper um, which just helps it um, yeah helps the product stick better and helps you get those layers so um let's open these i mean on a first inspection they look lovely um i love the white clean like lines to them i just think they're fab i think what i'm gonna do first is actually swatch these out um, because I do like to have a swatch of them now I've got so I've got my mixed media paper pad and then I've also got some craft card stock because I think colour pencils on craft card stock always look really really nice as well so um, yeah we're going to sort of do both and then what I want to do is I'm going to get a stamp out so we'll get a stamped image um, and then we're going to colour them in using these pencils um, on both the craft cardstock and on the, um, the mixed media paper um, just so that we get an idea of what it's like so I have got 50 pencils in total they all have the name on them um, so I mean let's just grab one which one's this one so this is imperial jade it is a triangular shaped barrel um, which is really good for holding your pencil it helps you hold your pencils actually better um, a first inspection really soft um, so that feels really nice actually so it's a nice soft texture um, which is really nice so I'm going to come in just with this color and I want to see how they layer um, and again, they look to layer really nicely. Uh, that's probably not the best colour to choose to layer. Let's do this one. So as you can see, I'm putting the colour over the top, um, which is really nice. So they, they do layer really, really nicely, um, which is really good. So I'm quite pleased with that, actually. Um, they don't seem like I was putting quite a bit of pressure on that. Um, if I come in with that green, we can... Um, yeah, I'm putting a bit of pressure on. The lead's not breaking. Um, do you know what? So far, really impressed. Really, really impressed. Um, yeah, really like them. So let's. Um, so I'll pop you on speed up for now while I swatch them all. So you'll you'll see me swatching them all on here. I mean, I'm going to name them. Um, and the reason why I do this is because when I come to colour in, I like to see the colours that I'm using. So the chances are I'm going to take this out of my um, my book. These will probably go in a pencil case rather than in the tins, or I'll buy like um, something for them, and then the swatch pattern will go on top. So, actually, I'm wondering whether, because we're just swatching, whether just to bring in a card base. Yeah, I'm going to bring in a card base for it. So, um, I'll swatch these out. Um, yeah, I'll pop you on speed up for this just so that you get to see all the lovely colours as I do them. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll come back um, with a stamp and we'll start colouring in. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this bit.
been sketched out and done um so swatched out and uh, do you know what i'm loving the colors the colors are quite nice i'll probably redo this um because i've put them in the pencil case uh, just because it's going to be easier to use um but i think i'm going to buy a similar case to the one that i've got my polychrome in two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16. I think, <laughs> I think there's actually 58 or 60 of them. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and like I said, they were a really good price. Um, if any of you know, the polychromo pencils are super expensive. Um, they're nearly like £200 for the set. I love them. I honestly love them. But it's always nice to see if you can find like a cheaper alternative. So what I've done is um, I just bought this from a craft stash. It is a scent with love. Um, and it's 15 stamps and die set. So we've got the dies to cut them out as well. And it's of these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. So the design is from Katie Skilton, um, which, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And I thought, you know what, this is probably a perfect opportunity um, to use them. So I've just stamped them out. Um, not brilliantly, I didn't see a made a mistake there. But it's just to test these pencils out. Um, so we have them all, which I am just going to have off to the side. I'm hoping, yeah, you can see them. Um, just like that. So I, I have them. I'm going to have my swatches um, just up there so that I can see. And we're sort of going to go from there. So I'm, I'll do a couple with you on camera now. Then I'm going to go and... Um, I'll put it on a speed up um, and then I'll give you my um, how I feel at the end. So I'm just looking at the colours. So this is Imperial Jade um, and I want Juniper Leaf. So because we're going to do, um, that's English Ivory. No, where's Juniper Leaf? Now this is the only problem. Um, and this is why I'm sort of wanting it um, in a case so that I can see the ends. I can't find it. Juniper Leaf, where are you? Sorry. Yes, right. So I've got two different toned pencils. So what I'm doing is I'm using this one here and then I'm using this one here. I'm going to just layer up. I'm going to do this leaf. So I'm just going to start off with my lighter shade and come in around the edges like so. Let me see if we can bring you in closer so you can see. Um, and I'll do this on the craft and then we're going to do it on the, um, I'm going to do it on the, the, the other one as well. And I'm just going to bring in the darker one. I think it's supposed to really start with the darker one, but I'm just going to fill in those areas like that. And then come in with the lighter one and go over the top and we're sort of just building up our layers so this craft card stock is from hobby craft which i got in their sale and it does have a nice tooth on it which means that we um yeah we can do our lovely layers so going over the top again um and we're just getting those shades and i'm going to finish off by blending it out with our lighter shade so there we have it. I mean, how nice does that look? And they are blending beautifully, I have to say. I'm just going to... Now, you do need a brush or something because you do get little bits on them. If you wipe it with your hand, like what I did 
on this bit you're going to get smudges on your paper so you do need a brush when you're working with pencils just to brush away those um yeah those pieces so there's that and then let's come in with the, the shadow bits on here I'm just going to start with that and then and again bring in that darker colour you also need to have a pencil sharpener on hand um, so that you've always got a really nice point so we're just going to go all the way around and you want to build up those layers just a couple of times um, to get that nice even finish so um, I'll just bring in this again just and you want to press it slightly harder as well each time you come in with your colors because um, it does make all the difference and then I'm just gonna so just like so and then bring in that color just pressing it harder just so that we get the whole thing covered and there we have our first leaf how lovely is that so let me just bring in this one and let's do exactly the same with this one so starting off with my darker color because really you should start off with your darker color i don't know why i started with my light color and um, they're lovely and soft which is really really nice um and it does make all the difference um, to have a nice soft pencil because um, you find they just blend beautifully and you know what I'm really impressed with these so on this mixed media cardstock they're performing amazingly I really really like them I've been looking at them for a while and I've never sort of yeah never um sort of bit the bullet and just bought them um because i want i wanted a nice really decent cheap set of pencils that if i'm going away i don't have to take my expensive ones we can, um i love them and stuff but i just don't like the thought of taking them away with me and then end up losing them so but i want something that's very similar but cheaper that if i do lose it doesn't matter but then i also think it's quite nice to have loads of different brands these yeah i mean the layering on them is beautiful they are super super soft they yeah they just blend really beautiful together and on this mixed media paper they are performing like a dream i wouldn't say they're as good as my polychromos but i would say that they're one of the better ones that i have tried these are gorgeous really really nice really impressed so this is just on the greens okay so what I'm gonna do um, I mean how gorgeous does that look so you can sort of see the difference on the craft and so they're actually it's not as dark on the craft as you would expect it to be they're quite similar in color which is quite nice because on craft you normally get a darker tone than if you use the white but how gorgeous do they look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, finish off coloring all the flowers in i will keep it on camera um so that you can see me use and the different colors and then i'll let you know at the end whether or not i think these are worth it so yeah enjoy
hurting um so yeah but i have to say i'm loving these um so i thought when i got to this one i thought oh there's no way i can color in loads today um it just depends on how my arms are to whether or not i can color in loads but um loving absolutely loving how they look on the, the cream paper um or white paper it, very vibrant colours, absolutely gorgeous. They layer beautifully. I'm not even joking. I cannot believe how well they layer. Um, and I thought I'd try that with this, these leaves. So you will have saw that I put blue down, then I put yellow down, then I put green over the top. And look at how beautiful those leaves are. Now, most of these I only went over once. The white works beautifully on the craft card stock, which is one another thing that I wanted to see um how that worked um and i didn't do my usual of two three times going over it i only did one time over it but they look amazing um so there's i mean i've got so much positive like um vibes towards these i love them but there is a couple of issues that um but they're not this is just me being picky like really really picky um and i've picked some out that are not um yeah I, I think i'm just trying to find some sort of fault um and there's a couple of them um and it's just so for instance where the colors are on them they're not um, not all of them are done properly so they are missing some of the blue but it's not a major issue um, 
you know as long as you know them um the leads do snap quite easily um uh, well um i'm saying quite easily no that it's not quite easy at all so compared to my polychromos if i was to sharpen this so you can see it's got a dull end so let's sharpen it um, and it's a, you've got a really nice point. I mean that. Um, so I think the lead in this one might be broken um, because this one's already come out twice. There. So you've got this really nice sharp point. So if I push that on the the uh, paper, that point is going to break off. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see it broke off quite easily. But once that sharp point's gone, it then you can push hard and it doesn't break. So there is a little bit of weakness there, as in, you know, um, when you first sharpen them, you, you're not going to be able to use that um, point. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean. Let me grab my um, polypromos so that I can show you. Um, like, it really is just a minute, tiny thing. Um, but I know that it can be frustrating. Um, do I have one that's already sharpened? No. Oh, well, I'll sharpen one anyway. We'll go. We'll go with the same colour. So this is a polychromo. Um, now, if I sharpen this into a complete point, um, so as you can see, exactly the same point. And then if I push down, only the smallest amount comes off, and you cannot break this um, this pencil. It's like that is the tiniest, tiny little bit, whereas you're breaking the full um, thing with them. Like I said, I am literally just trying to look for fault. Um, I'm putting them up like in comparison. Um, yeah, these do feel a little softer to my polychromos. Um, and you can see the polychromos do have a better coverage um, so you do need quite a few layers this is just me pushing down really hard but do you know what for a substitute of the polychromos I don't think they're that bad at all then they're, they're definitely not that quality but they are lovely to use um, the ends go down really quickly um, that's the other thing so they do sort of wear down a lot quicker than my polychromos do but if I compare them just to a box standard pencil, they are amazing, absolutely amazing. Like I said, I'm just picking fault for the sake of picking fault, I think, <laughs> because I highly recommend them. I think if you want to get into coloured pencils um, and you want a really nice one, but you don't want the price tag that comes with them, because I mean, you can get Prismacolors, which again, are super expensive. Um, Arteza used to do them, but I've heard that the quality of them has gone right down. But are these, um, I'm really glad I got them. I can see these being used quite a bit, especially when I go away and I want to take um, some with me. I have certain things that I'm quite, I mean, I'd be upset if I lost them because they are actually a really nice pencil to use. They're lovely to use um, and they feel nice as well. Um, they, yeah, they're just, they're lovely. They're, they're apart, I mean, I didn't want to tell you that, you know, the the, uh, the leads don't break at all. Like, I mean, polychromos, they don't break. Um, they're amazing. So even if you drop the pencils, um, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you even if you drop the pencils, the lead doesn't break. But with these, it's a different story. It does break, unfortunately. But um, when using them, if you're putting a lot of pressure on, they're not going to break. Um, which is a real big key when it comes to using colour pencils. Um, especially if you're going to be doing them on cards and stuff. You don't want to be sharpening your pencil every five seconds, do you? You want something that you can push down hard and get that full coverage that you want in, which you can achieve, as you can see that. I mean, that just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? That colour. Um, it is a little bit more shiny to the polychromos, but again, I don't mind that. Um, really nice really nice soft pencil um yeah i would definitely definitely highly recommend them i'm really pleased that i got them I, like you said i got them in the black friday sale um there's something that i've looked at for a while thinking are they worth it not seen any reviews or anything online for them um but i thought you know what let's just buy the bullet because i think it cost me like 20 pounds for the 60 of them which i thought was really really good that like i said was in the sale um 
but I highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. They're beautiful and they work. The white works beautifully on the craft. I even put a bit of white in there, see if I could do some highlight areas. Can't really, they're not really showing up, but I didn't really go over a couple of times but i think it would i think it'd actually make it quite nice and you can use your white as well to do a lot of blending but i'm really impressed with these leaves um and the flower just looks beautiful it's got all those areas that you want dark and light and yeah just beautiful um so yeah that is my personal opinion i am not sponsored by the way i bought these myself this is all my <laughs> um yeah i paid for everything um in this video so um the uh, ones that i got were pastel highlights elementary mid-tones hair and skin tones dark shadows and a brilliantly vibrant oh it even says 12 color pencils on it so i have no idea where i got 10 from um so i did get five packs i'm not sure how many um that are in their collection um but i do feel that with all of these i've got more than enough colors to do whatever i want to do with them um absolutely beautiful pencils to use love the design of them so i love that they've got that triangular shape um it just gives you a better hold yeah beautiful really really nice so i'm gonna leave it there i hope you've enjoyed my little review of these pencils no doubt they will come up in a few videos every now and again um yeah but really really pleased with them i'm gonna um cut them out and put them in my ephemera box because they're beautiful and they will um end up coloring the rest as well because yeah just gorgeous so yeah thank you everybody so much for watching like i said i really do hope this has been useful to you um and yeah if you are looking for a really nice color pencil then yeah i would definitely highly recommend these they are beautiful um yeah that i really can't pick much of a fault with them so really really nice lovely and soft as well they just glide across the paper oh I feel amazing anyway i'm gone <laughs> that's it for today thank you all so much for watching and until next time happy crafting bye